So I'm just going to take a few minutes to do a different kind of video. I'm just going to show you <laughs> my, shelf. my shelf, my storage yeah. solution for all my pens and pen related junk all stuff. <laughs> or treasure, I should say, not junk. Um, anyway, what I have is a I'm sort of in the middle of cleaning things up. It looks really disorganized at the moment. I have made a, a new shelf just to store everything on. Yep. And I just use reclaimed barn board Most that I sand it down. Most of the stuff here you've actually made. Yeah. The shelf, the mm -hmm. boxes. I know. A lot on, of boxes. Anyway, so on the top know. shelf I have... Oh, the light's terrible tonight, sorry. On the top shelf I keep all my inks. And I have a couple little knickknacks that I've had for quite a few years. A silver frog, another silver frog. This is a textile wooden print. That's a frog lantern and just a nice decorative light in the background. And nice. down here is a bookshelf or a book. A pen <laughs> like box. A, a pen box where I keep, you know, a lot of my modern pens or pens that I have currently inked. Uh, it has little drawers in it that you can pull out just so I. We'll demonstrate that yeah, later. Yeah, we'll demonstrate. A bit more. On top, there's a few other <laughs> things piled up. You know, a black wing pencil sharpener. Very fancy sharpener. Yeah. So, an old cigar box from years ago that I found in a store. A hand there. That has different little pencil leads in it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Let me give you Close a hand. Up. Down here is a drawer that has uh, all my in use notebooks. And this has template. This is an old little drawer set that I found in a thrift shop. Has some templates. Bit hard to close. And the bottom one has just some stamps and some other notebooks and cards and stationery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and down then if we here, go down to the bottom, there's a. Yeah. We got another pen box. <laughs> pen box, and these are on. Um, these are ink uh, pens that I aren't inked at the moment, so I just store them in here. There's a few different layers in there, so a few pens in there. These are some little pen cases that I made. I just use geometry box, you know, school geometry sets. Some and I, you, They can hold uh, two pens, and so if I'm going somewhere, I can just toss that this in a backpack or carry it in a bag. You know. uh, of course, uh, address is in that box. Uh, this is just a felt carrying case that I keep on hand. It's fairly nice. The bottom one has pen-related supplies, uh, repair supplies or tuning materials. This is... Anderson pen micro uh, micro gloss for pens number one it just gives when you use that it gives a nice shine to a an older pen or a pen that just needs a little pick me up this is just an old box that I found somewhere it's probably at a thrift shop and I just keep cables in that I'm just going to take a break for a minute and then I'm going to show you one of my boxes in more detail in a second so this is a pen box that I made. Uh, I keep, you know, inked pens and stuff in here, and I'm just going to quickly show you what it is. You pull a drawer open, and the drawer can come right out, but inside are some little trays, and the trays can it's... be pulled out. Uh, I usually keep one tray on the top. I don't use that one because this one slides back and forth so I can reach in and grab a pen, but the trays all come out, and I keep the pens in there. It's a little messy at the moment, but everything is sort of... <laughs> looks good. Look well, it looks good, but it's a little messy. Yeah. Um, it's pens. You know, this middle one lifts out, and there's a lower level with actually not too much in it at the moment. Um, it's a little brush holder, uh, some an old ink cartridge for some strange reason, a ballpoint pen. Uh, You're planning on sorting this soon, right? Well, yeah, I'm sorting yeah. everything out. Yeah. This is a a friend who's an artist in the states, Frank Jerez. And what else? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here, and uh, it's kind of nice to have your pens stored somewhere as where, oops, where you can keep them at hand. That one goes in the middle there, I think. Yeah. This one. This one. It's kind of hard. <laughs> well, we're holding up the camera here, and it's just being tossed yeah. around. But anyway, that gives you a brief look at brief some. Brief look of at what we do and how I store all my stuff, huh. and. I just made this out of some pine that has an interesting pattern on it and it uh, you know keeps everything safe and I know where everything is and when I'm writing or something I can just reach in and grab a pen and sort through things. I probably should clean out some of these pens and store them away and come up with a better system of how I 
keep pens currently inked. But anyway, I'll do that in the future. So that, <laughs> thank you for the watching the video and what else we say, Sam? Um, we say like if mm -hmm. you enjoyed the video. Um, do that one-handed. Yeah. Uh, sub put that in. Subscribe if you wish to mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. And hit the notification bell if um you wish to see when we upload. Mm. Um, this is incredibly hard to get it. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Well, There's yeah. a lot of pens I'm and holding, wood. And wood. I'm holding a camera in one hand and yeah. talking. So anyway, it gives you a little idea what I keep everything in and how I store stuff. Yeah. And anyway, I hope you all have a great day and thanks for subscribing. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. And once again, thank you for very much. Bye-bye. Yeah, thanks for watching.